Hi, I'm Dr. DeLuca, and I'm going to show you how to successfully give your horse an intranasal vaccine. Let's make sure we have everything we need. Today we're going to be using Streptococcus equi vaccine, which is Strangles vaccine. And you'll have one green top tube of powder and one diluent or water. That's all you need, one of each. Also in the package, there's going to be uh, syringes and straws. You attach the nasal applicator to the syringe or the straw to the syringe by twisting it on so it's nice and secure, it can't slip off. If you've lost the syringe that comes with the vaccine, you can always use a Lurlock syringe, a 3cc Lurlock syringe from your veterinarian. So before we begin mixing the powder and the diluent, I'm just going to show you a little trick here to make your life easier. Take your needle and insert it into the vacuum sealed green topped vial. You're going to hear a little pop when I put the um, needle in the top of it and that's just the air coming out of the vial. Then remove your needle. Believe me, that's going to make your life a whole lot easier. And now I have my gloves on, so we're going to mix the powder and the water, or the diluent. We'll need the syringe with a needle instead of the uh, intranasal applicator. Be very careful when handling um, your needles. Any size needle will do. I'm going to draw out the fluid, all that's in the vial. So there's probably about uh, two and a half cc's in that vial of water. Then I'm going to put it into the vial with the powder. And I'm going to mix it together. Make sure it's thoroughly mixed. When you're happy, you're going to put your needle back into the vial and withdraw out the vaccine that you have created. Okay. Now, we want to get the needle off. Always take the needle off. It's really important. Put the injection cap back on the needle. Twist. Put your needle in the sharps container and reattach your intranasal applicator, nice and snug. Now your vaccine is ready to use. So I'm going to introduce you to my friend O.P., who's promised to be a good sport about getting vaccinated today. Now, ideally, you'd have somebody helping you do this. And you need a helper to stand, if you're right-handed, stand on the right-hand side of the horse and get your helper to stand on the left. If I were the helper, I would stand here, not directly in front of the horse, with the lead line, but I'd hold him by the halter with my hand over his nose, like this. So this intranasal applicator is going to go up the horse's nostril. Now there's something called a false nostril right here. I'm putting my finger in there about two or three inches, but then it, it's a little sack and it ends. So if you put the tube up in there, your, your fluid isn't going to go anywhere. The idea is to get this up there and give it a good plunge, and then the fluid will spray up into his nasal passages and into the back of his throat. So now I have an assistant, Dr. Johnston, and I'm pinching the false nostril, and when I go to give this, I'm going to give it one, one fast motion. The applicator's in, head up, squirt. We'll let, hold his head up for a minute, 
and that's good. And it's going to be normal to see a little discharge, uh, the vaccine rolling back out of his nostril. That's normal. So now that you're done giving your intranasal vaccine, make sure you've thrown out anything that may have been contaminated with the liquid, and wash your hands thoroughly, and be sure to give your horse a, uh, a treat or a Twizzler or something he likes.